Rod, you finished in hospital last summer playing tennis. Now, how could that possibly happen? Well, <clears throat> a lot of people say football's a rough game, but tennis is rougher. <laughs> uh, especially when you've got to play early in the morning, out of season. Um, feeling a little bit uh, seedy this morning. <laughs> oh, we're chasing the ball about a thousand mile per hour, trying to recover a backhand volley. The team needed to win and I was five for up and I thought, well, this has got to be real desperate stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, I went sliding across the, uh, the grass. One leg went one way and the back went the other and uh, I hobbled up and the opponent came and said, uh, can you play on us? I coughed and grunted and he said, beaut. <laughs> <laughs> That's real sportsmanship. <laughs> he, did, he didn't wait for another archery. They said, you beauty, we've won. And uh, I was off the hospital at Queen Elizabeth, but uh, they, were, they were pretty good there. And uh, I was only there for about four hours, gave me a couple of Bex tablets, and uh, I was home and feeling all right. But... How come that uh, nickname Rocket, uh, Rodney? Oh, it goes back a long time. Um... It must, you're not that quick these days. No, no, I think I was a bit speedy in those days. <laughs> and was that the reason for the nickname? <coughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what was? Uh, I really couldn't say because... <laughs> you know, back in the olden days uh, when football uh, wasn't quite as civilised as what it is now, um, <laughs> we used to virtually play in tin sheds and... Uh, on Sunday mornings, we used to have these swing shows. It was uh, for gentlemen only. <laughs> and uh, it was so much to get in the door and uh, the beer was flowing and uh, you always got some galah to get up on the stage and uh, have to get a dance. And I got up with one of the girls and danced and uh, from then on, they called me Rocker. <laughs> the last two votes are both Port Adelaide, R. Ebert. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my uh, It's my very great pleasure to declare Russell Ebert of Port Adelaide the, the winner with what must surely be a record count of 42 votes. And if you've uh, kept the score, that was 10 first votes. And I can tell you that it was also six second votes, so that Russell polled in 16 of the matches played uh, this year. Now Judge Brebner will present the McGarry Medal to this year's winner, Russell Ebert of Port Adelaide. Well, there's nothing left to say. Uh, this man has surely dominated uh, the count uh, this year. And of course now joins that uh, illustrious band of uh, those who've won the medal on three occasions. And uh, what a way to do it with 42 Pope. Congratulations, Russell. Thank you. How does it feel, Russell? Good. Yeah. <laughs> That's half what I want this year. And the other half? Premiership.